I ran out of my apartment. I told my wife, I said, call 911. Somebody just jackknifes down in the bushes. The driver escapes death after his SUV plunges into an embankment near Taconi Creek. Tonight, investigators are investigating the cause of the crash, but neighbors have a theory. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Matt Picciolo. The driver is still visibly shaken, but we did see him walking around. Police tell us he's lucky to be alive after crashing near the Taconi Creek. I heard a car swerve. Neighbors rushed to the driver in this SUV after hearing it barrel off Crescentville Road near East Godfrey Avenue in Longcrest and soar through these trees before landing just feet away from the Taconi Creek. You can see it buried in the thick of bushes flipped over on its side. Then he jackknifed down in his ditch and it flipped over. But thank God the fire truck was, was behind him and it saw him, saw the whole thing. It scared the hell out of me. The driver is this man in the blue jacket. He didn't want to talk to us on camera, but crews tell us it was difficult to get to him because of how steep the embankment is. A tow truck company also said getting his vehicle out of here will be an even bigger challenge and cost nearly $1,000. Neighbors here have seen it all before. People drive down here like they want a racetrack. It is ridiculous. While police haven't yet said what led up to the driver traveling off the road, neighbors tell us there have been recent crashes here after drivers speed down Crescentville Road and lose control of their vehicles. You can't even get across the street. What would you want to tell these drivers? They need to slow down. People have kids out here. Even older people be walking by themselves. They might get hit by cars. They need to slow down. They really do. And neighbors also tell us they hope to see speed bumps and more signage installed here along Crescentville Road. In Longcrest, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.